I'm Nay. And I'm Jay. We're still a plan. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Hey. Nay's Please taking go. over now. On the hog ride. Yeah, I'm gonna get very violent. It's just X, isn't it? There's no other. Yeah, Square didn't do anything for attacks. So I don't know how the fuck you're meant to get that box. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, well. Doesn't matter now. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck you! Oh, the joys. What the hell? How do you. Know. I don't know. Ah, fuck. Hey! <laughs> so I got the box now. <laughs> hey, you got a box. Wanna buy a box? Wanna buy a box? Ah, no! He got you that time. He gave me that time to get back. So, Jay, what's your favourite movie? Mine? Uh huh. The Green Mile. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, you love. Why do you love that movie so much? I don't know. I think it's just the story behind it. Like, as far as. I'm pretty sure it's ca it's somewhat based on a true story. I don't like. I thought it was based on a book. See, I think it's partially partially is and partially on a story. So like, it's a weird like I think the whole end. Um, ah, what the fuck! I made a pass you, fuck. Sorry. So I think the whole the whole magical powers in it is based on a story a, a book. While um the um what you call it the. The story behind it, like your man getting put in prison for something he didn't do, was based on a story. But I think it was um, changed around because I'm pretty sure it was based on a story about a kid. It was like 14 that got put in jail, that got given the death sentence for killing two girls. Oh, so it wasn't there. Uh... I can't, I can't remember the full story. I feel like that's. What oh I, shit! I didn't hit that, that, that checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't, I can't remember fully. Like, it's just as far as I know, it's based on a true story as well as partially based on a book. I can't remember. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was a book. Probably isn't. I'm just mixing things up. Huh. What's your favourite movie? Mrs. Doubtfire. Really? Do you not know that? No. Well, Robin Williams is one of my favourite actors. I knew and that. Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, would you fuck How do you off? sometimes get past them that way and sometimes don't? Because I'm a cheeky bastard, that's why. <laughs> um, I don't really remember Mrs. Delphi that way. Oh, Mrs. Delphi is just my childhood, man. I used to watch that with my auntie and my mom and my nanny all the time. Like, any time when I was younger, when I was upset or anything like that, or when I was just... I don't know. One movie I remember of Robin Williams that I loved was always Jumanji. Oh, would you fuck yourself? I love Jumanji, man. What a movie. I haven't watched the newest one of it. Neither have I, and it's nothing to do with like the force of being better. It's just, I haven't got a chance to it, but I heard it's very good. I've, I've wanted to watch it just because like, you have The Rock and Jack Black in it. I love Jack Black, man. <gasps> oh, yeah, do you want to hear what happened to me in London? Okay. So, we only, you, you do that now, I died <laughs> twice. So, we... We didn't have tickets for the second BTS, second day. So I said to Sarah, come on, we have a look at it. And we had a look at the, B at the box office and there was something, there was tickets, tickets to live. And I said, wait a few minutes, wait about an hour or so, and then buy them, they'll go down. She was like, what do you mean? I said, they'll go down because no one's buying them and it's getting late. And they'll, um, Ticketmaster has that. Whoops. Always, oh, when you're going to them, stay left as tight as you can. It works for me. Um, I think, it, I think it only works sometimes. Yeah, it does, yeah. Ticketmaster has that thing where if they don't think they're going to start selling tickets, they'll just cut prices straight away. So, I we went back on and we got them cheaper and we got the fucking grey seats were right in front of the stage. But anyway, that's not what the story's about. So, we're walking out and we're walking out of the fucking the, the concert. And anyway, trying to rush to the tram because they didn't put any fucking extra trams on for 90,000 people. That sounds fun. It was fucking a joke. Was that a hog on it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, no! No, oh, so close. I didn't realise it was moving in a circular motion. <sighs> but, um. Yeah, so you didn't put any extra trams on. Didn't have to put any extra trams on, right? But when we were walking to try to get, get there as quick as we can, I was seeing a load of fucking Tenacious D t shirts for their new album, Post Apocalyptica, right? And I'm, I was I'm sitting there. Focus, now. <laughs> focus was run out of this. <laughs> I was sitting there going, what, Sarah, why is that all the fucking 
why did all these have Tenacious D t-shirts on? I'm very confused. And then I seen one of the lads selling them on the, you know, on the street. He was right. like, oh, I'll give you Tenacious D t-shirts. And I was like, what? Hold on, what? And then we we were waiting for the tram. And as we were waiting for the tram, we were talking to security guards. And he was like, this is a joke. And I was like, yeah, it's a fucking joke. There was thousands of people, Jamie. It was like a zombie movie. When they let them go, they just ran for the bus. Like, it was like a zombie movie. It was terrifying. Right. Right. But I was talking to your man, and I was like, oh, were you at BTS? He was like, no, we were doing security for Nation's D. And I said, what? <laughs> Excuse me? I said, sorry, what? And he was like, and Sarah, the minute he said it, poor Sarah's face, man. It just One dropped. One box missed. <laughs> she was like, what? And he was like, yeah, yeah, Tenacious D was actually right around the corner from BTS. There was 10,000 there. And it was 90,000 at uh, BT, uh, 80,000 at BTS and 90 all together. And I literally went, hold on, what What do you mean uh, Tenacious D was playing? And he was like, yeah, Tenacious D was playing. And I was just, I just kind of went into myself and was just kind of upset. I was just sitting there going, oh my, I've seen them every time they come to Ireland. Like, when they're not supporting, when they're their own group, when they're their own, when they're doing their own thing. So and Sarah turned to me and was like, Nate, and I'm so sorry. I was like, what? She was like, if I knew. So if you press X as you jump, it brings you higher. That's what you need to do here. I am. Oh, you yeah. have to hold it in. Oh, yeah, hold, yeah, right, yeah, okay. Sarah was like, Nate, if I knew we would have went to the... <laughs> we would have went to there instead of going to see BTS for the second time and to be honest we only went to London for BTS so I wasn't too annoyed I was a bit stung because I was like I can't believe Tenacious D was playing here and I didn't I didn't know because there was no advertisement or anything I was sitting there going oh no ah you fucker yep. and the I fella know. was like oh they were so good live and I was like I know I've seen them every time in, in Ireland I was like, fuck this. And what, so they just had like one show? They had two. All of a sudden? They had two shows. And then what I... was the one? They had two back to back. And then I was trying to look at uh, the t-shirts at the bus. I was looking at the back because I had all the concerts. <laughs> oh, this game. <laughs> and as I was looking at the back, I was like, oh shit. I was like, does that say Ireland on it? And it didn't. It was fucking like... Uh, the Netherlands and everything they were going to London I didn't, they're not going anywhere near Ireland I was looking at it going oh, for fuck's sake well in a way London is near Ireland in, in a lot of bands eyes yeah I know which, hey. is, which yeah. isn't fair yeah but you know what is it? oh big time but you know what I felt bad for all these fucking um, all the BTS fans the <laughs> BTS are going on a Europe tour right it was a Europe tour and in Europe, they only went to England and France. <laughs> it's always the same. Like, every time oh, it's a European tour. World Tour, sorry. But in Europe, they only went to England and France. Like, it's always horrible when fans do it, like, for a European tour. Because, like, it's always the same with Hollywood Dead. Oh, well, man. they go to, like, five places in West Europe, which is always, like, England, France, um, Germany, and... I think Portugal and one other place. They've never come to Ireland in what? I think 12 years they're active. Yeah. The closest they've come is to Belfast once, I think it was. Did they go to Belfast? I believe they went to Belfast once. Oh, and fucking then, hell! Sorry. Just, but like, the amount of times I've seen them doing like European tours and it's just like, the European tour has always been like East Europe. So like, it'd be like Sweden. Like, I don't even know if Sweden was on it. It was always like Russia. Slovakia, I think, like, you know, like, kind of, just, you know, them type of countries, yeah. like, the East, Eastern Europe, and it's just, like, that's not a European tour. Mm hmm But, like, I was heartbroken, man. I was honestly, honestly heartbroken with the Day. But poor Sarah, she felt so bad. She was like, if I knew, I would have, I would have went, I would have let, like, we would have went to the, well, our awards war, you could have dropped me off for the second night, and I would have went, uh, Oh, for the first night, and I would have went with you for the second, and I just went here. It was worth it. I've seen Tenacious D three times. I was like, I have never seen this. <laughs> it was an eye opener. Like I've never seen fans like them. So I was like, right. It was kind of like a positive. It was very good. I'm never gonna see a show like them again. Huh. Here's an interesting. Here's a good question, actually. Oh yes. What's the band you've seen most? 
The band I've seen most. Or artist, like whatever you want. Are you to say, sure man. you don't know what band I've seen most? I feel like I do. Mumford and Sons. Mumford and Sons, man. How many times? Uh, f- five. Five, five and uh, next week we'll make six. They're, again, they're over again? Yeah, they got a fucking. Uh, where are they going? Hold on. Uh, fucking. Malahide fucking castle, man. I can't wait. Didn't even know they were here again. You have to start moving over. Oh, yeah, 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 you got it. Yeah, they're coming back over. I, I, Sarah was like, Nate, Mumford Sons come back over to Malahide. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then I was like, I'm buying them. She's like, I already got them for you. I was like, I love you. <laughs> but I've seen them. I've seen Mumford Sons every single time they come to Ireland. Now, not when they're like performing in Whelan's on their days off and shit. Like any time like, they've had like a major. When they've had a major concert, I've been there. I think you know what mine is. Uh, oh, script. Yes, it is. Um, four times, I think. Yeah, four times I've seen them, and I've actually met them once. You met them? Yeah, I met the script at their small gig, the one that they had in um, the National Stadium, Ireland, the way they do all the box matches kind of thing. National concert hall. I can't remember what one it's called. I forget. I actually, forget the name of the, the arena. But um. Yeah, me and Sarah had actually met them after the concert. Oh, no way. Oh, that's where you got the autographs. Yeah. Wait, did we... No, I don't... I, I don't think we actually had anything for them to sign. I think we just... Um, oh, you filled. I think we just got the pictures with them. But, like, it was just so cool. Because that was our... Sixth year anniversary, I believe it was. <laughs> yeah. How long... You were Sarah eight years now this year, aren't you? Yeah. I'm with my Sarah eight years as well. I think it was like four months of park. How did I? Oh, Jamie, this game hurts my head. Why did we think this was going to be a fun and easy enough game that was chill out? And yeah, I didn't think it was going to be easy. I just knew it was going to be fun. But yeah, so seen them four times. The only time I didn't see them in Ireland was their first gig in the Aviva Stadium. So um, I've seen them in the O2, when it was still the O2, the Tree Arena. The Tree um, Arena, which is um, the Tree Arena when they had a. Um, Oh, what's his name? Van Hanser? Oh, fucking... Fuck! Uh, yeah, what's it? Christy Dignam. Christy Dignam. I thought I fucked that up. Um, and then once in Crow Park. Yeah, I've seen I them once. I can't remember who they had as support in Crow Park, actually. I think it was... Um, I think they had... Um, what's it? Pharrell Williams' band... I forget the name of it. As a support in Crow Park. Oh. I went with you for one. Which one? That was the O2 one, wasn't it? Yes. I think you had to hit that and then jump over. Oh, that was stressful. Did I only go once? I feel like I've seen them twice. Um, no, I'm pretty sure. Well, but also you only went once as far as in anyways. Well, yeah, then I think I only seen them once. What was your favourite concert you ever went to? Mumford uh, uh, thing does count. What? Uh, Hollywood and Dead. See, the Hollywood and Dead one was part of the f- was the festival, right? Yeah. So, I did love that. Like, great experience. Mm. But I think it's just the fact of like the memory of meeting the script just puts that up there as like me, one my favorite. Yeah, fair enough. They do put on a great show when they come, come home. Oh, they're fantastic! Like, I love them live. They haven't put out new shit in a while, haven't they now? They're in the studio at the moment, as far as I know. Oh, Jesus. Working on, um, I believe it's their sixth album. Fuck. Oh. I thought that would have killed me. Yeah, so <laughs> your, fa- your favourite band you ever seen, well, your, like the, not favourite, like your best show you ever seen was the script. Yeah, see that, there was only, I t- it was in, um, see I forget the name, but it wasn't, like it's not the National Concert Hall, it's, you know, you know, this, you know the place where they deal the box, like, the boxing Ireland. I think it's literally just the um, Irish National Stadium or the National right. Stadium of Ireland or Dublin. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know which one you're on about. So like, um, fuck. Um, what was it? They had JP Cooper as support, and there was only like two thousand people. It's actually where we went to see the Game Grumps live as well. Oh yeah. With um, who was it? Yeah, the game was live for the Ready Player 3 show where they had Jack with them as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My favourite gig I've wanted to see. Like, well, not, I wouldn't say gig. Like, for performance. 
like for show, my favorite kind of show I've seen, like live music show, like the best, ah. the best performance of like the best performance that the band put on. What like, yeah, I'd say show. The best show I I've seen. BTS is second now. To be fair to them, I feel like I know which one you're gonna say. Was it? I forget who it was. That Leeds, Papa Roach. No, Kiss. Kiss. Yeah, I, I went to see Kiss see years ago. And I was only 17, I think, when I seen Kiss. How did I? And Kiss put on the best show I've ever seen. Like, nothing about their, their musical performance. Just the show was incredible. And I'll never forget it from this day. You know? I think it was the last time they ever were in Ireland I went to see them in the O2 when it was the O2. That's mad. What was, you, what was your first concert? My first ever concert, I'm very proud of this, is, was Pink. Pink, what, what uh, when she, I think she was in Marty Park, it was years ago. She was on a Golden Dragon, that's all I know. <laughs> I remember that like very clearly. I was with all my aunties. My ma was meant to go, but she wasn't well. And my ma just said, because my cousin was going, and my ma just said, you know what, she's going, so just bring Nathan with us. And I was like, cool. And I knew a few of Pink songs from listening to them, like my ma listening to them and all that kind of, uh, listening to her and all that kind of stuff. But Pink was just out. She is so performer, man. Well, but um, one of the best perform like musical performances I've ever seen, hands down, Meatloaf. His farewell tour was just. How long ago was that now? That was only a few years ago, not too long ago, but it was incredible, man. He made me cry. I, I felt like that was recently. Like he made me cry when he sang. I can't uh, hear objects that objects in the rear view mirror may appear closer than the air. When he sang that man, I just start crying. Fuck off you, I'm trying to do something. Um, What's yours? My first show was Fremont Handy. Fremont Handy? Well, I was with you? Yeah. Yeah, that was a Wabag gig. So like, and that was when I was, I think I was like, I think I would have been 15 then. Yeah, I think we were. You were still fucking 6 or 4, but still. <laughs> That was probably a bit smaller then. Ah, fuck you! This game hurts my soul. Fuck this, fuck this. <laughs> Can you? Oh, I swear, I hate them cunts. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! Fuck you, cunt! Do you want to pass her over and I'll have a shot? I think that might be my last life. No, it's not. I still have a couple of lives. Fuck. Fuck. Um. What about your best musical performance? Like mine was Meatloaf. Musical performance? Yeah, like, you know, singing. Like performance. Like, not you stage on, performance where they're dancing. kind of the best show or? No, best show would be like Kiss where the, it's basically like seeing a show. You know what I mean? Like I mean like musical performance. Like when you listen to them and you go, I can't listen to their music for now, like a week, like for a month, because they sound much better. Like they sound great live, you know that kind of way? I don't think I've actually had a moment, a moment like that. Really? Any time I, any time I go see someone live, I just can't stop listening to it for like a week after. Really? Yeah, pretty much. Fucking hell! Ah, oh, I jumped too quick. Uh, but no, to be honest, there. like, um, I don't know what I'm saying there. What was your least favorite show you ever watched? For like, like your your least concert, show, like yeah, yeah, your least concert. Um, I'd say that one probably would be Fame and Handy, just cause like Fame and Handy, just cause like even though it was before one, I don't really remember that well. Yeah, like it was that long ago, and I still got burnt. So it was like that long ago, and I don't really remember what happened. I just remember one thing in particular. Well, the condom. Oh, the fucking condom! Yeah, they blew it up and fucking smashed it all over the stage. That's about all I remember. That show, that sh show, really. My f my least favorite show was probably who I didn't enjoy much. I can't really remember. Um, see, I've been to loads of shows. I've been to Lincoln Park, Green Day, uh, Mumford and Sons, six, six gone six times now. BTS. Um, I know performance wise for me who put on like who'd done a lot on this on stage for me was Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift oh yeah she you went to see Taylor Swift. She done a lot on stage. Yeah I heard her shows are like a show, you know what I mean? Like a proper 
performance unreal she puts a lot into it and her stage setup is unreal as well like, someone yeah, show me crazy. pictures because <laughs> in Wembley she had like four stages that she like flew over to yeah but we'll we'll continue that next time yep fuck this game might, might be in the, in the next episode of this or it could be in a different series oh yeah we're doing a new one so you just have to wait and see see you then bye bye